Hi, so good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture in Marine Automation number 2. So today we are going or I am going to demonstrate how to wire a basic electro pneumatic control system. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so but before we start wiring this diagram, uh, by the way, I will introduce to you how are we going to wire this one virtually and how are we going to wire this one at your home without the uh, electro-pneumatic trainers that we have in our institution. So we will be using this, uh, this one. So you are just going to use two ball pen, the red at saka yung black ball pen nyo. Okay, and then uh, we are going to wire this circuit, for example, in this particular circuit here, and then we are going to, to wire this one in this uh, figure. Okay, so, but before we start wiring, we will start first identify uh, the components that we will be using in this particular uh, circuit. So we have here the supply voltage, so we have the 24 at saka yung 0 volts. So your 24 volts is the positive, so the positive that is the red. And then we have here the zero will be indicated as the black. Okay, that's the standard for uh, DC circuit. The red for positive and then the black for the negative. So we have here, in this portion here, okay, that's the power supply here. The positive and then the negative. So this one is the power supply. Next, we have to identify this one, the extend button. Take note in this particular uh, circuit here, this one is a normally open push button okay normally open push button and then in our uh, circuit here and our digitalized laboratory trainer uh, we have here the green so these two green push buttons are normally open push button okay normally open push button and then the red one here that is the normally close button so from our electro 3 and uh, uh, previous electro technology subjects we know that that the normally open push button is an open circuit and a normally open circuit and then for the normally closed push button that is the closed circuit the moment that uh, in the initial condition of our uh, simulation okay so we have here the uh, so we have to label first so we have here the normally open so we have to arbitrarily sign assign a label so let's call this one is the extend so this one here is the extend and then we have here the other one here this one the retract so we have to label this one this is our retract okay next is we have to identify so okay na tayo dito okay na tayo dyan. and then we have to identify the solenoid valves so we have here the solenoid valves the k1 and we have here the k2 and then take note guys, if we're going to take a look at the uh, power circuit in this particular figure, in this particular circuit, the K1 is responsible, the K1 is responsible for the extent as what we have shown in the previous simulation. So once this K1 is activated, this K1 is activated, the air will flow, the high pressure air will flow here and then causing this uh, cylinder to extend. So that is why the K1 here is for the extent. Okay, take note. K1 is for the extent. So in this particular case here, we have to identify in this portion here, uh, where is K1 and where is K2. So if we're going to analyze, if we're going to activate this one here, uh, this one here, the high pressure will flow here. And then if this is activated, so the high pressure will flow here and then the cylinder will move to this particular direction. So this one here, so is our K1. Okay, and then at the same time, that is the K1, this is our K2 here. Okay, that is the K1 and that is the K2. So, we're good and good. Okay, right, so that's it. So, we have now identified the basic components that we will be using in our circuit. Now, let's start wiring. So, as what I've mentioned a while ago, we will be using two ball pens. Okay, the red and then the black. So, in this particular case here, we will be using the red ball pen every time we we wire from the 24 volts from these 24 volts here up to we get to the load uh, which needed the dc 20 uh, 24 volts so red we are going to use the red ball pen here to wire this one and then we are going to use the black ball pen to wire 
from this portion here, okay? So from this portion here, going back to the uh, zero volts terminal. Okay, so let's try. So we have to wire first the 24 volts, okay, to the extent. Okay, take note guys, okay, take note. We are just simply connecting a simple puzzle. Just consider this one as a simple game. Take note that the extend here, uh, the extend normally open push button have no polarity. So you can arbitrarily choose uh, where do you connect this portion here. And then we have two terminals here from this point and this point. So as what we can see in this push button, extend push button, we also have two terminals. So this one and this one. Okay, and then the same with the retract button, we have two terminals, this point and this point here. So we also have two terminals in the actual diagram, in the actual trainer. Okay, and then for the K1 and K2, we have two terminals. We have this one here and we have this one here. So for our K1, we have two terminals, the positive and we have the negative. Okay, and then the K2, two terminals again, we have the positive and we have the negative. So now let's try to wire this one. Uh, quickly okay so first is we have to wire this portion here the 24 volts connecting to the extend so su supposedly we are going to use the red ball pen here so 24 volts to the wait to the extend yeah to the extend so how are we going to wire this one in our trainer in our digital trainer Okay, so 24 volts to the extent. So 24 volts we have here. So make sure, guys, when you are going to perform this activity, you are going to use a, a ruler. Huh? Ruler, I don't want to see na parang tabingi yung mga lines nyo. So we are going to use a uh, ruler. So from the extent, so we have to select this one. Okay, and then let's say to this point here. Okay, and then... Okay, you, you put a dotted, a dotted point to indicate the, con the connection na parang nag-screw ka. Okay, so nag-screw ka from this wire here connecting to the positive terminal of our uh, power supply. And then going to the extend. Wait. Mm -hmm. Going to that extend. Yeah, so if we are going to review the circuit... So we have the positive to one of the terminal of the extend push button. So from the positive going to the one terminal of the extend push button. And then we are going to wire. So when, when you wire a ladder diagram, you have to wire it rung per rung or step by step. Okay. So next is the extend button. The out of your extend button connecting to the positive of your K1. Okay. So it should also be uh, using the red the red uh, ball pen. So the outside of your extend, yon, the second terminal of your extend push button here, connecting to the to the K1, the positive of your K1. So the positive of K1 is here. So we have to connect it here. So how are we going to do it? We can go here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, as of this moment, you can just uh, put your wiring above this diagram here. So since we will not be using relay in this particular figure, but later on, uh, please don't put anything above this figure. Uh, so that uh, because this diagram, this figure here will help us identify the terminals of our relay later on. So as of this moment, okay lang yan. So the red and then connecting here. Okay, so we have now the extend push button connected to our uh, K1. So from K1 ngayon, after the K1, this is the negative side. This is the negative terminal of your uh, solenoid. So from this point, you have to connect it to D0. Okay, to the negative terminal of our power supply. So from negative, uh, you can simply go here. Okay, make sure that your wires are properly arranged. 
Okay, and then going here. You can simply connect here. And then connect here. Okay, so from the negative terminal of our solenoid, from the negative terminal of K1, we are now connected to the negative of our supply. So we have now completed the first uh, the first uh, the first rung. Okay, so now we're going to wire this uh, second step or the second rung. Okay, so yeah, so you can connect. So for this uh, retract button here, you can tap from the 24 volts itself. Okay, from 24 volts, you can tap directly and then you can wire this one connecting to oops, connecting to the retract button. So basically, uh, what you can do here is you can wire this one. You can tap the retract button to the 24 volts, but at the same time, the easiest way is you can tap this retract button to the extend to the extend terminal which is connected to the 24 volts. Okay, take note, huh? you can tap this one. Let's try to erase this one. Okay, so you can tap here, the retract button, you can tap it to the 24 volts, directly to the 24 power supply, or you can also tap this one to the terminal of the extend push button, which is directly connected to the 24 volts. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, so let's wire here. Put some name. Okay. Yeah. So retract button. So we can use this one. Okay. And then analyze which of the two terminals is connected to the 24 volts. So this one here is connected to the 24 volts positive, while this one is connected to the positive of your solenoid bulb. So we will not connect that that uh, this one. This uh, let's try. Okay. So the question now is where, where you are going to connect this one? Is it this terminal or this terminal? So base, basing from the diagram, so you have to connect this one to the terminal of the extend push button, which is connected to the 24 volts. So the terminal which is connected to the 24 volts is this line here. So you can just simply tap that one and then, oops. Yeah. Okay. So we have now wired this portion here. Okay, this portion here. Now let's connect. Now let's connect this retract portion here to the K2, the positive the K2. So at the same time, same what we did a while ago, we have to use the red uh, ball pen. Okay, and then the retract. So we have to connect this one here to the positive of your K2. So we have to connect this one to the positive of our K2. Okay. And then, oops. Yeah, that's the positive of our uh, K2. Okay. So now let's wire this portion here. So from the negative of the K2 going back to the zero volts. At the same time, you, you also have two options here. You can wire directly to the negative this one to the K1 here or you can have a wire connected directly to the power supply but uh, the more efficient way is to wire there it directly to the other side of your of your K1 because it will consume a much uh, longer wire for it to be connected to the uh, power supply okay so we can tap this one okay so what we can do here to select the black 
and then we can directly connect this one here we can just have it connected here and then to indicate that it is connected so you just have to make a small dot okay so that's it so in this uh, lecture in the following lecture we are going to wire this one this uh, limit switch and then we will connect this one in our uh, control circuit okay so see you in the next lecture